So thank you for joining us in today's webinar. We will now share a video on our Knowledge Transfer Office and we will start the session right after that. In today's rapidly changing manufacturing environment, companies and engineering professionals have to keep themselves abreast of the latest advancements in technology to maintain their competitiveness and professional competency in the shortest time possible. In such a dynamic environment, the need for real-time and forward-thinking training is crucial. To address these immediate needs, the A-Star Singapore Institute of Manufacturing Technology or SimTech and SkillsFuture Singapore have come together to provide relevant technology-based training for the manufacturing industry. Singapore Institute of Manufacturing Technology or SimTech is a public research institute under the Agency for Science, Technology and Research or A-Star. SimTech's mission is to develop high-value manufacturing technology and human capital to enhance the competitiveness of the Singapore industry. Through the strategic collaboration with industry partners and our R&D efforts over the years, SimTech has generated an in-depth practical knowledge and capabilities. This allows us to help local companies to solve industry problems and upgrade the workforce skills aimed at productivity improvement and business transformation. Through the strategic partnership with Skills Future Singapore, we have developed a wide range of workforce skills programs under the Skills Framework using an innovative learn, practice and implement training model. This program helped to fill the skills gaps of industry and to cope with the current fast-changing environment and to help companies move up the product value chain as well as transforming their productivity and competitiveness. Other than delivering timely case study-based curriculum, the Knowledge Transfer Office also provides hands-on practical training combined with industry best practices. Participants also have access to SimTech's state-of-the-art labs to learn about the latest technological advancement to equip themselves with new skills. For example, WSQ Operation Management Innovation Program, or OMNI, which helps companies align process to company strategies and helps many companies to make significant improvement in operational productivity, efficiency and effectiveness. The team has further developed the Digital Transformation and Innovation or DTI program to train and guide key personnel of organizations to be digital transformers in leveraging digital technologies to accelerate business model changes and achieve meaningful digital transformation. Using the DTI methodology, participants will learn to analyze and redesign your strategies, business model, value streams, and system architecture to ensure greater alignment, unlock new business growth, and achieve sustainable competitive advantage. As companies continue to benefit from SimTech's unique courses and manufacturing expertise, the Knowledge Transfer Office at SimTech is fast becoming recognized as Singapore's one-stop destination for manufacturing skills competency training by offering a wide range of courses and modules. The Knowledge Transfer Office helps industry in continuous education of their manufacturing professionals, managers, engineers and technicians in the manufacturing sector. By collaborating with SSG, the Knowledge Transfer Office of SimTech offers a number of SSG certified WSQ courses, each designed to cater to the respective local industry sector. <coughs> My heartiest congratulations to the graduates. Ah. SSG is happy to work with SimTech to provide industry relevant training programs for the manufacturing sector by using an innovative learn, practice, implement model. SimTech's training programs incorporate skills training, mentorship and project implementation. Through the model factory at SimTech, it has also partnered best-in-class organisations and benefited many SMEs across different industries. I'm heartened to know that SimTech is partnering our institutes of higher learning to enable expertise transfer and share best practices to proliferate to other sectors. I look forward to our continuous partnership with SimTech to drive skills development in advanced manufacturing and support the transformation of our local manufacturing industry.
So Dr. Ko is a senior scientist with the Joining and Machining Group in Simtech. He is also an adjunct associate professor in NUS and an expert in mechanics and dynamics tooling optimization, machine tool vibration, feed rate scheduling, and ultrasonic vibration assisted milling. Having achieved academic and industrial R&D successes across Singapore, Canada, Germany, and South Korea, he has developed quick milling and turning vibration solver and optimizer that can help engineers improve machining productivity. Dr. Ko has trained managers and engineers from more than 45 companies on the application of scientific approaches to improve machining productivity, considering process tooling, work, work fixture, and machine dynamics. The success stories of a few local companies trained through the course were featured in Straits Times 2015 and 2017. So without further ado, Dr. Ko, please. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, just a moment. So I'm going to start present how to improve uh, machining productivity through dynamic analysis and simulation with the industry examples. I'd like to introduce myself. Oh, I started working in South Korea, then I moved to Canada. Uh, I was in University of British Columbia then I shipped to Germany. From there, I have been working in Simtech since 2007 uh, October. Uh, sorry, just a moment. Okay, so far we have collaborated with uh, more than 45 companies. Sorry for this, just uh, there is automatic uh, shifting, so. Okay, so far we have collaborated with more than 45 companies. We have helped them to improve their productivity. So for specific product, we have improved 15 to 100%. Okay, I'm sorry, I do like this one. So some of the cases have been featured in the newspaper and also we have presented to the ministers. Uh, some ministers uh, mentioned that he had a very interesting conversation uh, with the symptom researcher and he shared uh, the, his impression in Facebook as well. So if you look at the machining process, uh, machining process has many different uh, Uh, just a moment. Uh, The so machining process has a, a very complicated uh, component. If you look at the spindle system, spindle has the arrays of bearing which is support to shaft. So according to rotation of shaft, there is dynamic characteristics are generated. And also,
there is a tool holder. Uh, some tool holder has different mechanisms such as hydraulic, uh, BT, HSK, or shrink fit. And if you look at cutting tool, there are so many variables such as overhang, rake helix, flank angles, number of flutes, diameter, edge radius, cross edge radius, and so on. So it is quite difficult to define which condition is optimal. So that's why this machining technolo dynamics technology is introduced here. So we use the sensor. If you look at the cutting tool, we attach accelerometer, which can receive vibration signal. Then we do top testing using impact pulse hammer. So this hammer has pulse sensor. So once you tap on the cutting tool, the pulse and acceleration are measured and transferred to computer. From there, you can input machine information, tooling information, and so on, and you can generate so-called stability loops. How these stability loops works is uh, uh, very simple. So you can just select cutting condition in the white area, which means you can avoid vibration, then you can shift your cutting condition to high productivity zone, then you can improve productivity. So for example, here is another example of stability loss. So you can have a choice of A, B, C, D cutting condition. So which condition would you choose? You can just choose the white area cutting condition, such as B or D, that you can avoid A and C, which will generate vibration. So you can choose B or D, then you can compare your productivity which condition will generate high productivity material removal rate. So in this way, you can improve your productivity. So this technology can be applied to low speed machining as well as high speed machining. So this machining dynamics technology uh, can handle your machining quality as well as productivity. So we want you to maximize your productivity under tolerance, which can bring you profit in your machining process. However, in machining process, sometimes you may encounter chatter. So this chatter can penetrate your final dimension. Then uh, your workpiece surface quality will be damaged. But with this technology, you can prevent this chatter phenomenon and moreover, you can maximize your productivity by reducing your machining time. So we take care of your revenue over cost through this technology. In Singapore, I visited many companies. Then their machining strategy is a high mix low volume, which means they have a number of tooling and spindle system. So depending on your product, they have to change uh, cutting tool and tool holder and also cutting condition. So in this kind of frequent change of tooling, there are so-called machining blind spot. You are not sure which condition will generate the best outcome. So here I try to introduce holistic dynamic evaluation of the process. So there is spindle holder cutting tool information, and also workpiece on um, texture. So once you start machining, there is force generation and also another uh, dynamic property, we call it process damping, will be generated. This force and process damping will affect your surface quality and also eventually uh, determine your productivity as well. In most Singapore companies, they use trial and error approaches based on experience against uh, machining vibration issue or productivity issue. So uh, some experienced engineer I met uh, had a 20 year over experience. So uh, their experience is quite valuable. So I appreciate that. But how about young engineers? So you wanna train them 
for next 20 years, uh, which would be quite a problem. So here, using sensor, you can do tap testing, then you input machine and tooling and material information that you can generate the stability loss. From there, you can optimize your process, which is a quite easy step because this system is quite uh, easy to use and portable. So you can carry around this system to your machine tools uh, or other cutting tool and spindle combination. Then you can do test, tap test, and you can develop database. So here you can see the database of machine tool and cutting tool. So once you develop database, you use it uh, next time by clicking your machine tool and tooling, then you can uh, optimize your process. So there is optimization module, which is a cutting condition adjustment dialog, whereby you can optimize the process condition by inputting material removal rate or your preferred spindle speed and depth of cut. Here is example of tap testing. So this is one directional tap testing. So usually we do two directional tap testing. Once you do tap testing, the signal is automatically captured and you can generate stability log automatically. Does it bother you? Then this one is additional uh, benefit by using the sensor. Here is another sensor, so-called displacement sensor, which can measure up to 20 kilohertz vibration frequency. So in some machine tool, if you use it more than 10 years of a spindle system, a spindle may have a bearing issue. The bearing uh, can be worn out, then it will cause low frequency vibration. In this case, you can use this displacement sensor to uh, monitor your uh, spindle rotation uh, runout effect so that you can tell whether your spindle has a bearing issue or not. Then uh, we have also material database. So you can choose what you are going to machine, either carbon steel, or alloy steel and stainless steel and other material. Let's say you have any new exotic material like a special grade polymer and rubber or exotic material to uh, machine. Then you can uh, do quick process analysis and you can identify coefficient. So we will teach you how to add material to existing material database as well. Another important consideration is uh, cutting tool geometry. So tool geometry has many variables which will affect the machining process. So in the training course, we'll do analysis together for cutting tool uh, sharpness or rectangle or hex angle and so on. And how these tool edge profile will affect your surface quality. So this one is example of how tool sharpness affect your surface quality. So in this case, the tool one will generate vibration at this cutting condition. The other tool will generate stable cutting, but it will generate a high burst. So depending on tool edge sharpness, different uh, process damping will generate, which will affect surface quality. Then let's say you have the lightweight structure so here is a tube structure one and tube structure two. You are starting machining now. So just now you hear high pitch sound. 
So here is actually sound sensor which detects chatter. The frequency is 5,800 hertz, which is a very high frequency, which comes from cutting tool. Okay, in this case, you can see the sound uh, pressure is very low compared to the chatter sound pressure. Here is 35 Pascal compared to uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 Pascal. So using sound sensor, you can tell the machine uh, is having chatter or not. So accordingly, the surface quality appears like chatter and stable. So in case of a high aspect ratio workpiece, you need a special fixture or damper to suppress vibration. So you can hear the chatter mark, which is quite severe. So you can attach accelerometer and you can do tap testing. Then you can tell whether this system, this machining configuration will generate vibration or not. So with the damper, you can suppress vibration and you can improve surface quality. So with this technology, you can evaluate the damper before actual machining. So you don't need to give damage to workpiece. You can prevent uh, the chatter and you can improve productivity. So this software has quite a comprehensive module which can handle machine tool Workpiece materials and work fixture multi node input and process condition that you can simulate uh, whether this workpiece fixture will have vibration or not. Then let's say you don't have any vibration issue, but you can still improve your productivity. The same way you can generate stability loss, then from there you can optimize your process. So I'd like to show you some industry examples. So some industries, uh, they came down and they see how technology works and they went through training and they adopt the technology and got license and so on. So this company uh, had large structure manufacturing and they had vibration uh, over difficult to machine material. So uh, the contents are confidential but here is uh, published uh, in our syntax manufacturing methods. So you can refer to the letters how the vice president, Mr. Tang, was happy about the research. So there are other companies' examples as well. So you can see the case one. Uh, this cutting tool is attached to shrink pit tool holder onto the spindle system. And you can see the stability loss pattern. From there, they can optimize the process. So you can look at the other case. Here is a cutting tool. And in their machine, the maximum RPM is up to 5,000. So their stability loss pattern is different. So in this case, they can reduce RPM, they can increase cutting mass. So there are also different material applications. So the plastic or aluminum, then they can optimize the process. In this case, they had a chatter because they have to use a long overhang due to the construction of workpiece geometry. So you can see the chatter mark. So they applied this machining dynamics technology, so they generate stability law. So previously they were machining uh, around low RPM. So what we did is we reduced RPM further, increased cutting depth. And finally we achieved over 30% improvement. And here is an example for electronic medical uh, component machining. So material range 
are from aluminum to Starbucks. So Starbucks is quite a difficult to machine. So depending on material and also machine tool system, the improvement range can be different. So we achieved from 25% to 100% range of productivity improvement. So this one is a multi machining cases. They use uh, over 16 tooling. So they develop database for 16 tooling then they optimize process. So uh, they saved uh, around more than 30% machining time which was calculated as thousands of dollars for uh, machining cases. So oil and gas company, uh, we also collaborate with uh, oil and gas companies uh, in West uh, class area. So we have improved the, their productivity as well. So we also tested uh, aerospace companies. So we have improved their machining productivity. The equipment manufacturer, they also had a productivity issue. So we uh, optimized their process and tooling. So they increased productivity up to 60%. And you can also apply the technology to robotic analysis. So this technology can be customized to uh, different machining cases, such as electronic, a medical component equipment and dimorph aerospace oil and gas and robotic process and you can uh, see the, your success with this technology. So from now I try to introduce this uh, turning dynamics cases. In turning process you will have also chatter uh, if you use long awaiting tooling and wrong process parameters and you have to remove this chatter mark. So I'd like to show you simple video, which can explain how chatter developed. So in the video, you can see uh, actual process time is less than millisecond. So chatter actually develop very fast. So once you see the chatter, you cannot stop it. So your workpiece may have damage already. So the best way is to prevent chatter by optimizing process condition and also to a holder combination. Also, once chapter develop, your tooling will have severe uh, tool wear. So it's best to prevent tool wear by mitigating vibration. And tooling geometry uh, has uh, many variables. So here is the tooling uh, insert shapes such as DNMG, VCMW, DGX. So this kind of uh, tool insert shape as well as uh, the tool sharpness will affect your surface quality. So here we have integrated turning dynamic system which can apply to uh, workpiece vibration issue as well as uh, your tooling uh, dynamic characterization. And after that, you can input your tooling geometry. So tooling sharpness information is not in the cutting tool catalog 
So we have some database you can make use of it to uh, input the tool sharpness information. From there, you can also figure out what's a tool holder uh, combination that you can develop database into the software. So uh, in the software, you can develop database of uh, insert and holder, then you can uh, make use of the database when you use the same tooling and same machine next time. But another important factor is a spindle power talk. The spindle power talk of machine uh, is very important. However, the company I believe they do not uh, know how this uh, power talk affect their uh, productivity and service quality. So power talk is not constant. It is shifting uh, depending on your spindle gear and RPM range. So this uh, spindle power talk uh, information will input to the software and uh, you can consider this effect of spindle power talk range according to RPM selection. And you can see here the stability loss for turning. The stability loss of turning is different from the stability loss of milling process. So you can go by uh, RPM or cutting depth. Uh, you can optimize the process. You can see here the cutting condition in white area uh, generate clean surface and the yellow orange or red color can generate chatter. So you can avoid the red area cutting condition and you can just select cutting condition in white. And one company which is MMC approach us and tell uh, how their old machine can be improved. So we test out this Okuma machine is over 20 year old. So we test the ODID and we generate the stability log and they realize, oh, they can improve their productivity. So the engineer give comment that uh, with uh, this baseline determined, which is stability loss uh, boundary, uh, their machining process uh, have plenty room for improvement. So they have uh, increased their productivity. So they tested from 10% to 40%, which were quite okay. And they were happy with the, the outcome. Uh, this example is from another company. So they did machining of this uh, uh, circular structure and they did ID and OD and they improved their uh, process quality and productivity. Here is mainly ID machining. So their step to log shows that their process is quite stable. Then they can improve their productivity more than 20%. This high aspect ratio turning uh, is quite challenging. This company had uh, more than uh, seven years uh, chatter issue because uh, this high aspect ratio is uh, uh, the maximum uh, ratio in the industry. So in this case, the, their workpiece can vibrate and cutting tool can disengage uh, with respect to the workpiece location. So these engineers were trained to the tap testing on the workpiece so they developed database of this uh, workpiece structure. So previously they had chatter, here is chatter marks. So they used the manual uh, policy method using sandpaper and so on, which is quite tedious and takes time. So they applied this uh, dynamics technology to characterize their machining process. So finally, their insert was uh, improved and we optimized the process. So overall more than 25%, uh, machining time has been reduced. And another key uh, benefit of using software is you can do tooling benchmarking. So here is example, there is tooling A and tooling B. So depending on uh, which tooling you use, you may see chatter or stable. But tooling A looks stronger than uh, tooling B. So tooling A actually had has the higher diameter uh, compared to pulling B. But when we do, uh, when we did the stability loss check, uh, you can see the cutting condition in red uh, color area, which means it will generate chatter. Uh, this tooling is even though slender, you can see um, the machine process quite stable, so you can avoid vibration.
Okay, then you can see uh, actual machine. So this part is actual, and it had more than 20 hours previous machine. So once you spoil part, then you can waste more than the 20 hours previous machine. So it's quite critical how to use the cutting tool. So finally, they remove the chatter with the right cutting tool. I'm sorry that uh, today PowerPoint had many issues, even though we have prepared for a long time and practice it. Uh, please uh, uh, bear with it. So in this training course, uh, we uh, train you about how to use sensor, how to analyze your process dynamically, and how to improve your productivity. So we have lecture lab session, and also in topic three, we go down to your company and we perform training on actual cases. So this course is different from others. We uh, actually handle your cases and you can apply what you learn uh, during the course and you can report it to your management whether uh, your productivity is improved, improved or not. The most important thing is uh, the, we can transfer know-how of application. We have tested more than 45 companies. Of course, there are some confidential cases which cannot be shared, but the know-how of application of software, sensor, and process analysis, and how to uh, evaluate your machine tool system is quite critical. And when you buy next time, when you buy uh, the new machines next time, you should be able to analyze your machine before actual purchase. So how effective of this course? Uh, you can reduce machine time uh, over 15%. And we also provide a consultancy and know-how during the course, how to optimize the combination of a cutting tool or the spindle system. So there are many previous success cases. So uh, you will have a chance to be introduced to uh, some media if it's successful as well. So some operation manager uh, become good friend of mine uh, because the technology helped them to improve productivity. And some company were featured and they are promoted in the newspaper and they address good comment. So one of the oldest uh, adopter uh, give a very good uh, comment. The service quality has been improved and also productivity uh, has been also significantly uh, improved as well. So here is a testimony from the previous uh, uh, Require us to view other material of HRC 55 and above. In the process of making all these products, we realized the cutter wearage was very high, the surface finishing was not ideal, and end up we spent a lot of time trying to resolve the matter. Kashin, we have adopted Dynacut from Simtech. Basically, Dynacut allows us to improve our machining capability in South CNC machining, improves our cutting speed, reduce the number of cutter wearage, and also help us uh, increase our production speed. We are very happy with the program Dynacut. We are able to price ourselves competitively against other competitors. Okay, thank you so much. Uh... We hope to catch up again. Please invite us or we can meet up again. Singapore is a very good country. Uh, we can reach anywhere because uh, it's, uh, the size is uh, uh, less than 50 kilometers or 60 kilometers from west to east. Okay, any question you can uh, write uh, in the chat box and you can uh, raise your hand. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, so thank you, Dr. Ko, for his technical insights on improved machining productivity through dynamic analysis and simulation. We hope today's sharing will give you a better appreciation on the current machining technologies and help you in your implementation. So Simtech has been established for more than 30 years with a wealth of experience working with industry as indicated on screen. That is where we have set up the Knowledge Transfer Office, KTO, to transfer our knowledge back to the industry. We have trained more than 5,000 PMETs to date. 
As shared by Dr. Ko earlier, milling and turning dynamic analysis and simulation are critical for achieving high productivity from mach precision machined components, which are of great economical importance to any precision industry, including component machining, machine tool, mold dye, aerospace, computer, and defense. This course provides participants with practical and systematic training on machining dynamics and analysis and simulation technologies that can be used to achieve high productivity with good surface quality, as well as high geometrical accuracy and efficiency. The training course typically includes evening courses held at SimTech. So some of the key takeaways for participants are knowledge transfer, analysis of actual issues faced during machining dynamics analysis, case study, and final report and recommendations. So some of the prerequisites for this course are Applicants should possess a degree in any discipline or diploma with a minimum of three years of related working experience. For participants who do not have required academic qualifications, not to worry, they are still welcome to apply. Shortlisted candidates may be required to attend an interview for special approval. They will need to have proficiency in written and spoken English as well. So these are the net cost fee for reference. Full cost fee is actually 4,815. And as you can see, Singaporeans and PRs are heavily subsidized by SSG. So for those who have questions regarding the sharing today, feel free to post your questions in the Q&A panel at the bottom of the screen. You can also click on raise hand button and unmute your microphone when I invite you to speak. Please share your name and company before you ask your questions. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I saw a question. So around more than four questions. So I started with one question. I will try to answer all the questions. So uh, please wait for my answer. So question four was, uh, I mentioned there is database, but what if our tooling or office are not in this database? Okay, this one is very good question. Actually, we teach you how to develop database. So in case of tooling, actually the tooling is quite different from one company to the other. So uh, once we started, uh, the database will empty for your company, but we can develop database together with you uh, by uh, training you how to develop uh, your cutting tool and hold and spindle uh, database, which is quite easy and quite fast. And in case of workpiece material, uh, we have already some database, but however, let's say you have X material, which is not in our database, then we can uh, analyze it, we can add a material database for you. Other ways that uh, we have also simple uh, methods to add uh, workplace uh, characteristics into database. So you can, uh, you don't need to worry about it. Actually, these are very common question. Uh, companies ask it and they went through training. They didn't have any problem so far. And we added some uh, unknown material in defense industry to database for the specific company as well. And question three was, uh, uh, what is the smallest and largest tool size that this can be fitted on? Usually we attach uh, this sensor over uh, three millimeter diameter cutting tool. Uh, but let's say very small cutting tool, uh, we need to do a lot of adjustment. So when company approach us and ask this kind of question, we usually say more than th three millimeter diameter. And question two is, are the parts uh, left on the machine? Will it affect my machine warranty? Uh, actually the question, in the question you mentioned the parts left on the machine. Uh, you are saying the part is the testing toolkit. 
uh, if so, actually, you don't need to worry about it. the parts of the sensors and computer are not inside, uh, are not left on the inside machine. So after you test, you can just take out. Uh, then you will have database already. So you wouldn't uh, uh, see any uh, issue about machine warranty. And the question one, how will this technology help me if I'm facing flatness issue while machine large flat part? Okay, this one is a very uh, important uh, aspect in industry. So actually the technology focus on uh, the productivity and the quality in local area. So if part is quite large, then there are a few uh, points to consider. One is uh, the machine accuracy. So some machine has a, a less accuracy. If you move the machine one side to the end side, your machining accuracy, such as positioning accuracy will drop or your PID drive system will have, have already one uh, the bearing inside and so on. So there are many uh, points to be considered. So we need to see actual part, how to help you uh, with our expertise. So we have many different uh, aspects of uh, machine expertise. Uh, expertise. So uh, we can uh, bring all the experts together to see the issue. So at least uh, your tooling and pores uh, will generate the so-called the stress on the part. So once a machine and you take out the part, the part is deformed. Uh, this is so-called residual stress. So we see the cutting tool and your cutting pores, so which can be minimized uh, so that the residual stress can uh, be reduced. So your deflection can be reduced. So uh, actually this one is a very uh, big topic. So we can discuss it further, please. Uh, you can email us so we can meet up together and see the detail. Then I can tell whether the technology can help you further or not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I try to answer uh, most of the question, all of the question. So if I have not answered uh, any question, please, uh, uh, you can type your question. Yeah, thank you. Um, hi, so uh, Darren, uh, you asked what are the available fundings for SMEs. Um, so apart from what I've covered earlier, that is specifically for like attending courses for with us at uh, under KTO. We also have, um, uh, you can also approach Enterprise Singapore for Enterprise Development Grant when you do, when you carry out like R&D projects. There are many, many different types of fundings available for SMEs if like uh, in terms of like the different uh, topics uh, available like that you can um, approach uh, E2I, uh, Employment and Employability Institute. Uh, they also uh, help like with in terms of like the workforce and then for um, Enterprise Singapore, they help SMEs with like uh, capability development, then um, uh, SSG helps with, uh, um, in a sense, like uh, improving uh, your staff's uh, knowledge and individual's knowledge. Yeah, so um, maybe for this portion, we can uh, maybe contact you after the webinar to, uh, to maybe uh, touch base and let you know more about the different types of fundings available. Yeah. And okay. um, uh, Jerry, uh, you mentioned that you're interested to explore uh, to integrate um, our system into your MES system with AI uh, to perform dynamic closed loop control. Um, Dr. Ko, will we be able to do that? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, Mr. Gary, uh, Mr. Jerry Ong Hang, uh, thank you for your comment. Uh, I just saw your message. So it's a very interesting question. So I'm also exploring the extension of technology. So uh, you can uh, bring your uh, uh, your area you would like to explore. So we can discuss about how to uh, uh, integrate uh, this technology to AI for the dynamics control. 
because once we uh, <clears throat> explore this dynamics, which is actually related to control technology. So if you have background of hardware control, we can work it out. And also I saw another question about the funding. Of course, there are uh, funding available for SMEs. So for uh, more than 12 local SMEs, they enjoyed this, uh, this uh, last time Sprint Singapore, now ESG uh, funding. And also, we are also asking another agency to support the SMEs. So I think uh, there is no problem for funding for SMEs. Uh, so please, uh, uh, this Mr. Jun Wei Darren talk, uh, please uh, approach us. Uh, if you'd like to know more about funding, we are very happy to support the funding application as well. Uh, Okay, thank you for so much. Thank you so much for your good question and comment. Okay, any yep. more questions? We haven't. Uh, mm, it looks like we've covered all our questions for the day. So, uh, Dr. Ko, is there anything else that you will want to cover before the wrap up? Uh, okay, uh, just uh, I want to thank you. Uh, sorry for uh, the mistake on PowerPoint operation. Yeah, so we have so much content. So, next time we can share more. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much. See you again. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. Uh, we appreciate you being here. So on screen are the QR codes to our brochure, registration form, and website for your perusal. We've reached the end of this webinar. My name is Charlotte, and I hope you've enjoyed the session as much as I've enjoyed hosting you. Feel free to contact Dr. Ko or myself listed below if you have any inquiries. We hope to see you on our future sharing platforms. Stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.